good morning this is a lecture on the heart 4 which are basically discussing about the congenital heart disease uh, please remember that this uh, lecture what I am recording now is a complementary to the self-study material it will help you to understand a few topics what you study in the self-study if you recall about the heart heart has got two basic chambers in general that is the left side of the heart and the right side of the heart so most of the time when you get the heart condition which is congenital it produces a kind of hole in the heart septum and as a result of this thing you get a left to right shunt and the right to left shunt these are the most common variants in addition to that we can also observe the congenital obstructive lesions now how common is this congenital heart disease approximately 1% of the population may produce a child when the child has a abnormality or there is a hole in the heart so it is 1% of the live birth that you must remember this percentage means it is incidence of a population who can have a congenital heart disease on and after a life birth so this is a generally accepted incidence that is what is the incidence now regarding the congenital heart disease you, here you can see a list of the diseases and which approximately tell you the frequency of each of the diseases you can read it out from all this uh, top it's a ventricular septal defect which is the most common type of congenital heart disease then you get atrial septal defect then we get a ductus arteriosus patent which is very important tetralogy of fallot coarctation of the aorta in addition to that you can see the other uh, malformations as well but what you should remember here typically that most important type of and most common type of congenital heart disease is the ventricular septal defect which is around 42 percent so these are the two incidents that you have to remember one how common is the congenital heart disease in general incidence and how common is the ventricular septal defect so our next topic is today to discuss about the association of the congenital heart disease nowadays it is getting a lot of importance and we should always try to remember that down syndrome patients that is triosomy 21 most frequently suffer from a congenital heart disease or a hole in the heart now this is primarily due to defect in the endocardial cushion which uh, takes an important role in the formation of ASD and VSD so the patient who has a down syndrome there is a more chance they have ASD or VSD next important disease association you can see with the Turner syndrome a Turner syndrome has got a lot of associations if you can recall from our previous lectures the Turner syndrome can be associated with a cystic lymphangioma it can be associated with a abnormal aortic valve it is also associated with a coarctation of the aorta which means there is a narrowing of the aorta so Turner syndrome has a varieties of associations a past rubella infection if it is present in a mother there is a chance the offspring of that mother may suffer from a congenital heart disease so in this case there is a chance that we can get a patent ductus arteriosus or VSD people who are living in a very high altitude they do have a hypoxic problem and which may produce a patent ductus arteriosus once again and the last one but not the least which can be familial and this is an important point this is the only heart condition or the congenital abnormality of the heart which can be familial and it is tetralogy of fallot 
so this particular PowerPoint I hope that you can remember it well so let us go to the most important type of congenital heart disease that is the left to right shunt to understand the left to right shunt induced heart condition we need to see the picture the figure now what you see here I am trying to give a simple diagram of the chambers of the heart this, so this is a left heart which is red in color means it contains a blood which is oxygenated and it is a right heart which is a blue in color it means it contains a blood which is uh, not oxygenated so what you have to understand here in a patient who has a left to right shunt or the disease of the heart that produce a left to right shunt these patients usually have a hole in the septum now this septal hole can be the ASD or VSD it is it can be in the atrium it can be in the ventricle whatever may be the location in all these cases the patient should have a blood which is passing continuously from the left heart to the right heart and this is known as left to right shunt and in these particular cases the good blood which is a blood which is present on the left side is mixing with the blood which is present in the right side in these cases the patient would not be cyanotic at birth simply because the blood which is going to the right side of the heart it is going again back to the lungs for a cleaning up the blood which is present in the left side it is going to the system normally through the aorta so patient should not have a uh, cyanotic